Hell yeah, dude. The Halo. I'm just going to pull the fan and pull you off of this and hope it clears the course of light. Should buy me a few more inches, I hope. Ooh, that's what she said. I love this old truck, man. I can't say that enough. Thanks, Dad, for preserving it all these years. If you're watching this, I appreciate it. Big shout out to giving me a place to store all my stuff too and allow us to do this. And if you're watching Uncle Ober, thanks for everything you taught me. I don't know if you both of you We'll get it. Oh choice, man. Oh man. Owls didn't want that coming off there, did they? Shit. Yeah. Yeah, this work. We might have to reuse this one day, you know. What's going on there? Come on. What an asshole. Where did we get the hammer? There we go. The wiggler. Going. Yeah, we got it. Who came the ass that one, Mopar? It's been on there forever, it looks like. It's supposed to have a spacer, I think, too. But I had to take that off and let the radiator I had in here fit. To start it at the time. I had to test it for leaks. That was not on video, that was years ago. I got one of my friends on the phone with me right when I started it. I'm all excited when it coughed off. So we're gonna take this note now that this transmission is like, I'm gonna say 25 inches from there, the bell housing surface to the tail shaft roughly and the new transmission is 31 and 5 eighths exactly. So we'll have to probably cut the drive shaft or find a different one. We'll look into it. Ding! Drive line's out. I don't know if you can see it in there or not. But it is out. There we go. There you can see it. Perfect. Take out eight bolts. Carry your brain bracket backwards, which drops it down far enough to where you can get to the top bolts if you want to drop the carrier bearing. Good job, Mopar. That's all I gotta say. Help from that guy right there. Persuaded it to move. Just enough. Now we gotta get out the floor jack. These bolts out here. I don't know if you can see in there. Drop this egg shaped son of a bitch right on the ground, right here where the wrenches are, and be fucking done with it. All of it. And then figure out all the measurements and everything we got to cram the next beast in. Giggity giggity. This is where weed whackers come to die. <laughs> <laughs>